There are candles that I absolutely adore. And there are candles that I like. And then there are candles that have to get out of my house quick, quick, quick. Like I literally want to throw it myself. Where do you all think Coastal Watermelon landed in those three categories? And welcome back to my channel. My name is Carisha from travelwithcarisha.com. And today I am here to review Bath & Body Works candle, Coastal Watermelon. Now, Coastal Watermelon isn't a new candle. I think originally, if my memory serves me correctly, it came out in 2019. I remember it was a white barn candle. I don't, I didn't buy it at that time. I think that one I may have smelled in the store and didn't purchase it. Um, but as you all know, four categories, 25 points each, 100 points on the line. Where did this baby fall? So let's get started. The notes, juicy watermelon, pinch of pink sea salt, ocean waves. So for the notes, I gave them 15. You can smell the watermelon and it's juicy. And you can definitely smell the pink sea salt. The ocean waves, you already know how that goes. Um, um, nobody really knows what an ocean wave smells like. Uh, yeah, yeah, so we're going to leave that alone. 15 points. So let's hop into the scent. So the two things you can smell the most are juicy watermelon and pink sea salt. So I think the pink sea salt is about 60% as far as how much you can smell it. And then the watermelon is about 40. And it's crazy because it's like you can smell that watermelon wanting to just burst through because it's juicy and you can definitely smell it. But that pink sea salt is just a little bit more prominent to where it's dominant in this candle. And it's like, I'm rooting for you, watermelon. I'm rooting for you. Push through, girl. Push through. You just want it to come through because the candle could have been, you know, a little bit better. But this candle smells absolutely horrible. It smells so bad. The pink sea salt just... It, it smells bad. It smells so bad that it made my stomach turn. <laughs> and the crazy thing is, I had a visitor come to my house. And they were like, what is that smell? Guess what? It made their stomach turn like in a knot. So unfortunately for the scent, I had to give them zero. Because this candle, it does not smell good at all. Now, I will say, if you're into the sea salt smell, you may like this candle. But for me, it just, it's bad. It's like a, oh gosh. It's like a salty watermelon, but a watermelon that you digging out the ground. It's, it's bad. It's bad. Um, If you're on the fence, I would say pass. But you come, come in and let me know, what did you think of the scent of this candle? If you have it, what did you think? Because for me, this this scent is just, it's, it, it, it's bad. <laughs> like, I'm getting tongue-tied. It's bad. Y'all, this candle almost knocked my wig off my head. Um, So let's hop into maintenance. Don't I haven't had a whole lot of issues with anything from this line, so luckily that saved them. I like the wicks. Uh, 25 points for maintenance. No issues with the wax. I didn't have a lot of cleaning. That wax color is actually, um, excuse me, actually really pretty. Like the design as well. Um, and then the throw, I have to also give them 25 because I would say on a scale of one, <laughs> really on throw, I need to be taking away 10 points because it, it didn't need to be that strong for as bad as this candle is. The throw, this, see, that's what I don't understand. Y'all give a strong throw to a candle like this. And then a weak throw to a candle like this that smells good. Help me understand. So actually for throw, I am going to take off uh, 10 points. I was going to give them. So on a scale of 1 to 10, excuse me, you can definitely smell the candle. It's about a 6 or 7. So you can smell it. It has a throw, but it, it didn't need that strong of a throw because it smelled bad. Y'all should have gave the throw that y'all gave this candle. Y'all should have gave blue raspberry snow cone. That's where we needed the throw. Um, so unfortunately, um, that's my review. So on a 100 point scale, they got 55 points. Um, if you are into the pink sea salt, 
you know, you do what floats your boat. But if you're on the fence, leave it at the store. Get something else. Um, part of the summer collection. Summer is my, are my favorite candles. And so far, you know, I'm just, I'm really underwhelmed this season. What do you guys think? Comment, let me know, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.